ha. <clears throat> That's yep. what I always do before my video. I go, yep, <gasps> yep. yep, running and gutting. I'm not editing on this out either. This is gonna be perfect. Oh, you're gonna have me taking deep breaths in the video? Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. Perfect. So, welcome back to Shooting Gallery New England, everybody. I'm not, I'm telling you, I'm not gonna edit on it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, welcome back to Shooting Gallery New England. My name's Joe. We got Tiberius Gibb here. Links in the description. Follow his channel. We're gonna do actually a pretty fun video. We're doing pros and cons of plate carriers. Yeah, you. Uh, that's the thing. You have plates. I don't have plates. I got. You're figure. getting there. Yeah, I'm getting there. Uh, so if you haven't seen the competition videos we've been shooting, where he kind of mopped the floor with me the first two, and then I kicked his ass. Yeah. I. Oh man, you I kicked, kicked my butt in the 22 uh, one. Yeah, the 22. I I, I owned you. Uh, so I've been wearing this, testing this out, seeing how I like it. Uh, and one, I'm not sponsored by Shall Not Comply. I just had a ton of patches, so I was like, oh, I'll be that dude. I'm just gonna. You, hey, you only have one patch. I have the whole strip on mine. You are more tactical than I am. Yeah, I'm more tactical. You know, I, I should get like a Grateful Dead bear patch or something. And just mm. boom. Uh, so, obviously, with political climate right now. Yeah. Yeah. Get it before it's banned. Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. So there's been talk of a body armor ban not the carriers just the armor i think unless they're trying to ban the carriers too no they can't just the armor yeah just the armor so they're trying to ban uh <clears throat> plate carrier uh, uh, plate steel plates or bulletproof vests technically that's what we're talking about uh i recently just got into plate carriers tiberius you've been getting into a lot of I've, different ones you've i've had them for several years but i've started getting different ones to review and uh i have enough for everyone in my house believe it or not I just have me. I, I, I gotta get one for the wife. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just gotta just get in case. Yeah, just, just in, in case. case. You never know. Yeah. You know, you want to storm capital or you know. <laughs> yeah. edit that part out. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not even monetized, so I could probably get away with that. Yeah. But that, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna get purged. Uh, you know, unless if I had the Viking hat, I think that would be awesome. Yeah. I'll roll a clip in if you really don't know what we're talking about. You should, you should, really should. That those pure gold. Uh, so yeah, I'm just I've been wearing this all day. One con, because I'm not used to it, maybe, is when I go to bend down, I got a little bit of a gut. So the bottom part, when you want body armor and you want uh, plate carrier, you pretty much want this covered, your heart and your vital organs. Um, that would be the ideal. Reason why you'd want body armor, if you say did three gun, you do the tactical games, uh, you're showing off uh, what I call a fanny pack, but you can get all different attachments to keep your hands warm, carry your mags, medical. The vest I'm wearing, and I think it's called a G-Force, you can get them on Amazon. I got this out of watching a nothing fancy video on it, uh, cause plate carriers can be expensive and that's what we're gonna get into. This one has molly all around the back, and the front, these, when you're looking for plates, it goes 10 by 12, and then they do, was it 13 by? 15? 13 by 15, there's two, so. yeah, there's two types of plates. And you want, typically, if you're gonna run a plate, I would say run nothing more over, under three, level three. So, this is how I look at it. Your rifle and your plate carrier should be set up for what you're likely to encounter. You know what I mean? If, if you live in New York City, you probably don't need a long distance bolt gun. If you live yeah. in Montana, maybe that long distance gun would make more sense. So the yep. same thing with armor. Yep. So I think level three will stop all common pistol calibers. Up to 44 mag, I believe, yeah. right? 3A will do up to M193, and then level four will stop all 5.56 five, rounds and even most 30-06 rounds. And 7.62, 7, 7.62, rounds. yeah, all um, those. And well. don't knock 30-06 uh, or those what we call FUD guns. It's got most, some power. Yeah, I don't that's got get some shot with stank, that. man. Yeah. It's gonna, it, it's gonna stop it, but... It's, you're gonna be hurting. Yeah, you're gonna have a broken rib. And don't think that plates are gonna be the end all be all for you. You get shot in the plate. I, I've never been shot, God willing, thank you, Lord. Um, you're gonna get broken ribs. Like you, you, it's gonna hurt. You can, yeah, yeah. You're not gonna walk out of there just like, did it, did it. Like no, you're you're gonna be banged up a little bit. Uh, so I think one con, uh, one pro is again, you protect your vital organs. Um, obviously, if you get a head, sh if you unfortunately get shot in the head. You're done. It's no replays. But these are not meant to go into battle. We've always, I've always talked about the gray man concept, and I've always talked about the best gunfight you're ever going to be in is the one that you're not in. Mm -hmm. So you know, this is for protecting yourself, your family, getting you to a safe place, and gives that extra edge. Usually, they come with two plates. Some have plates on the side. This one just has two plates. This one is fitted for, and again, you can get different plates. 
it's all different. You don't have to get AR-500. You, you've been rocking the prime ammo. The, prime the, the, armor. Prime armor. Yeah, I totally messed That's up. Right. Yeah, Close uh, enough. Yeah, I figured it out. Uh, you've been running the prime armor. How do you like that so far? This is good. I did a review on the prime armor. Uh, it's pretty like lightweight it. for uh, level 3 plus. Uh, I think each plate's only 4 pounds. So for 3 plus, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. And I actually did a testing video where we shot this with a bunch of rifle rounds, 7.62, uh, 308, and, and it, it even stopped the 308, so that was good. That's now good. this one, uh, this one's from Ferro Concepts. Um, I did a review on just the carrier. Inside here, there's level four plates. Uh, Hesco makes some pretty affordable, good quality plates. And this, like I said, will stop up to a 30-06. Uh, it's definitely heavier. Each one of these plates is seven and a half pounds, but these are only 40, uh, excuse me, four pounds each. So you feel the weight difference, I like feel that. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. Yeah, so yeah. like you mentioned earlier, the tactical games, this is the one I wear in the tactical games. Tactical games is like CrossFit with guns, and your vest has to weigh at least 15 pounds. So you have to do all the running and gunning, and it's heavy, yeah, it's not a light plate yeah, carrier. I, I could just, I couldn't breathe. I'm, I'm just, just bending over, that's the thing. That's one con for me, is if you're a big guy, and you, when, then you add the plates, if you have to bend down to get something, that's just gonna cut right into the gut, yeah. so. Again, you need to train with it, practice with it. I, when I got this, it, I horrified the wife. <laughs> horrified her. I threw it on instantly and I was hungry, so I started making Hot Pockets. <laughs> so she comes in, I'm sitting on my living room couch, recliner her up in basketball shorts and a plate carrier on eating Hot Pockets. She's Nothing just like, wrong with that. She looked at me and she's like, this is what I didn't want to happen. <laughs> this is like, exactly what I didn't want to happen. And she's, like, oh yeah, yeah good, good pro, you get messed with your loved ones. Uh, but. Another pro, obviously, it protects you. It, um, they're not, the carriers are affordable. The, the, the carriers alone can be kind of affordable. I picked this up, we, I got this for Christmas, but I know they go for like 70 bucks mm -hmm. for if you're just starting out. Uh, you get great companies like Prime, Prime Armor. Yeah, uh, this, this, is about, this is about 200 for the Prime Armor. Yeah. Same thing with the Ferro Concept for 200. So they're a middle of the road, yeah, middle good of the road. plate carriers. Yeah, so it's up and level. And then you can get into places like Gatson Dynamics, which is a great company. They make great product. I like, I like High precision. Do. What? Cry precision. Yeah, cry carriers. precision. You get into the upper levels where you can get up to four or five hundred dollars for just the carriers. Yeah. Then, what's really gonna bone you on the price is I think it's the biggest con, which they gotta. But then again, it's metal. You gotta figure out the spalling that goes onto it. How a plate works, guys, is say it gets shot, it doesn't just go straight through. There's this coating, like almost like. Uh, uh, I want to say like a Krylon coating or something like that, like what they put on hard cast bullets. It's called spalling. So when the bullet hits the plate, the spalling is what actually comes, you know, you see sometimes you see videos of this like debris going everywhere. That's the spalling on the plate. As I'm spitting too. Well, at least it was that way. Yeah, at least it was that way. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're socially distant, you know? Close enough. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, but definitely your plates are going to be your big issue. Some plates I know can get up to like five, six hundred bucks. Uh, I know there's an, I think AR 500 is like the Gucci. Everyone wants AR 500 because that's all they've had forever. Uh, but now you get our companies like Prime Armor and this is not an ad for Prime Armor guys. Just want to throw that out there. I just know because I've literally watched all your videos <laughs> on it. Um, <laughs> so that's the only other company. And then there's Safe Flight. I actually run mm -hmm. a Safe Flight uh, duty belt, but they have the uh, concealed carry version too, yep. where it's literally a bulletproof vest that you wear under your clothing. That's going to get you several thousand dollars. Run you seven, se I think, go up like three thousand. Is that much? Yeah, three wow. grand for like the level three plus, and it's the one where they show Chuck Liddell like punching yeah. and all that stuff. So that can get very expensive. That's, it's going to be your biggest con. It's what is your life worth, though? Do you yeah. think your life is worth? Uh, <sighs> several thousand dollars or can you yeah. as long as you do it smart and you know everyone's got to be economy shopper now yeah i think that what he was talking about earlier with the spalling especially the steel plates if you go to get steel plates um those are going to have a lot more uh, likely when the bullet hits it that that round is just going to shoot everywhere so having something good to absorb that is important when you go to the more expensive plates level three three plus four they're not made from steel they're all different there's some sort of composite or ceramic or 
there's a bunch of different types. Those will be less likely for that spalling, that bullet fragment to come out and hit you everywhere. If you guys are seeing the smoke, by the way, we have a burn barrel behind us to keep us warm. Yeah, we're, we're not. Snoop Dogg's not here. Yeah, Snoop Dogg's not here. Well, we already discussed this earlier in the earlier videos. You had red gloves, I had blue gloves. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I still got mine. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, there you go, there you go. Also, it's we're in New England, guys. It was like 28 degrees when we when I pulled in this morning. So we're, we're, we were, we're trying to warm up here. So mm. if the smoke's bothering you, please comment below and I'll tell you how much I really care. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, it's it it's really comes down to is what what you can afford, what you want to do. Also, you can set it up where you can have water. Uh, they're called Camelbacks. I'm not. Uh, I'm new to all this. This is. I'm just all. I'm all about it. I love it. There, there's a million different ways to set it up, and again, set it up for what you're likely to encounter. I think being able to carry magazines and some medical gear somewhere is important for everyone. Uh, besides that, there's back plates that he's referring to that you can carry a ton of stuff. My opinion as a civilian, I don't think I'm going to go crazy with that, but that's just my yeah. opinion. And you can also get the water uh, bladders back there yeah, as well to yeah, have a water. But for me, if I'm wearing a plate carrier, it's a really bad scenario situation, man. I can't imagine. Yeah, like it, I have no military training. Are you former military? Yeah, we're not military guys, uh, so we don't need to be as completely tactical. I want to make sure if I can, granted, I have no plates in this right now. I have a battle pen. Yeah, get the job done. It gets the job done, you know. If I'm, you know, in the, in an office, get stabby. Yeah, stabby stab, you know. <laughs> oh God, I like to get one that's just all Baby Yoda camo. Someone Ooh. needs to make that Baby Yoda camo, but in a black multi cam Baby Yoda camo. We need to make that happen. Dude, that would sell. Oh, idea would, alert. Killer mm, idea alert. Delete that so no one Oh, yeah, that. I'm totally, yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I'm going to have to talk to somebody. Mm. We'll, I'll talk to Eclipse Holsters. Again, link below. SGNE, 15% off your holsters. Okay, that's one shameless plug. But, yeah, Blake carries. I'm actually all about it, though. I, you know, I'm thinking about getting uh, a couple set up for my mean arms loaders. Because with uh, Massachusetts, I have a fixed mag AR, so I have to use a yeah. couple different options. I do have my SU-16 where I can use the AR mags like you got these 30-round fun sticks. I guess, yeah, you figure that out. Uh, I, I I didn't intend to actually put that back in, but... You were going to steal it? Yeah, I wasn't going <laughs> to steal it. I just was just going to say, here you go. But That's it. Yeah. So, guys... We appreciate you watching today. Uh, we're not. This is not a in-depth review of plate carriers. I, you know, there's so many types where you don't even need to have plates. You can just have mag carriers, and it's still the same thing. Where you can get the molly, and you can get uh, all you need. You don't need to have padding. I just picked this up because, one, I'm typical, uh, typical millennial. So they're gonna ban something. I want it. You know, I, yeah, it's typical period. Yeah, it's a typical. Look, look how many guns sold this year or last year. La yeah, la yeah. We're in twenty. Yeah, we're in 2021, guys. Mm -hmm. I think we're. You know, 2021 is. Off to a great start, you know, you can't get any better, you know, it, you can't get any better than this. I think this is our year, like, as you can't tell the sarcasm, I hope you can pick this up. I'm laying it on pretty thick. Yes. Um, all right, so uh, 2020 was a hell in the handbasket, and I think the amount of people that were buying guns, me knowing, you know, I work in a gun store, so it's like, the amount of people and, like, the classes that are being held, they just want to get guns, and now it's like the proper training. It would behoove you to get some type of carrier, and you don't have to be all tactical. Again, if you want to spend a little bit of extra money, you can get a safe light under the shirt, kind of like civilian. Well, even this one, this yeah. one without the magazines on the front, I easily can wear this under a hoodie or a jacket or a sweatshirt. Yeah. I can easily rock it. I've done it many times um, where I wore it under a jacket, and no one has any idea as long as they don't pat you on the back or something. <laughs> And they feel the plates. Yeah, yeah, it's almost like giving you a hug. Like, yeah, I carry, don't. I, yeah, I carry appendix, and it's just like, uh, if I have the 10 mil, I'm Why like, does Tiberius hug so funny? <laughs> yeah, dude, what's going on with him? Like, yeah. Oh, that, that's going to be the new SHOT Show. It's just going to be... Well, you don't have to worry about it. With COVID, nobody wants to hug you Yeah, anyway. no one wants to hug you. It's, yeah. it's, I'm so used to being like, hey, what's up, man? It's like, okay, I'll go F myself. All yeah. right, sorry. Whoa, Tough guys. Tough to get used to. Yeah, even like coming out of the shop, I'm like, hey, there you go. What's up, man? Okay. Nope. No problem. I'll make sure I add that to the bill. <laughs> uh, but guys, I think this is probably a not in-depth review, but please consider these options when you're looking to buy. Um, I'll leave a link below if I can find any for you guys. Uh, 
Definitely check out people like Prime Armor, Gaston Dynamics. Uh, T-Rex Arms has a ton of armor. Yeah, new, oh my god. They're killing believe. the armor in the plate game. Dude, T-Rex Arms is killing it mm. with plates and armor. Uh, there's hundreds of different companies nowadays because again, people just want to be protected and I think self-preservation is what the Second Amendment stands for. You know, it, obviously, you know, taking care of government and stuff like that and governing ourselves, but the right to self-preservation, -pres body armor isn't part of that. I personally feel body armor should be, can, you know, protected under the Second Amendment because it's just like a gun. You it's, can, it's, a it's a protective thing. It's not an offensive thing. And yeah. the states that are banning it, um, like New York and whatever the other one is, Connecticut, and there's a couple more trying right now. Massachusetts, I think, is trying to ban it. Yeah, it's just kind of a joke. Yeah. And we're going to see more of that even on the federal level the next yeah, couple Yeah, on years. the federal level, I can definitely see. You know, I can think we can blame all this to Tom Brady leaving the Patriots. <laughs> When you really think it's about all it, Tom's when, fault. dude, when Tom left, it just went all the way down. Yeah, COVID hit. It, so hmm. Tom Brady is the reason. Why. <laughs> we can blame Tom. Yeah, we can blame him. Yeah. Uh, again, we got to show our New England pride here, okay? So, everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to close this video out. Make sure that you're checking out Tiberius Gibb. Gun Collective Pew Tuber of the Week. I've said that in like every video we've yeah, done you today. Have. I think I'm more just jealous that you got it before me. Be humbling, good. humbling, I, man. It's humbling. Uh, dude, you're killing it, dude. You, you have, like, what, 7,000 subscribers almost? 8,100 now. 8,100, wow. Because of the Gun Collective. When they when they featured my channel, I got a huge, huge jump, and it's just just humbling, man. It's awesome. It, you know, and this is awesome. You know, we finally got together. We've been talking about it for months. Mm -hmm. We had you on the podcast. You know, it, this is what the community needs. Uh, yeah. People like, you know, you and me beating up. We've been... Dude, it's like four or five hours we've been out here. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's just, it, time flies, man. And that's, the more community outreach we have and the more just like connections we make is going to help the Second Amendment more. And I do appreciate you having me down here, man. Yeah. And, take an anti-gunner to the range. Yeah, take an anti-gunner to the range. With 22. Yeah. Get a 22 in their hand and get some anti-gunners to the range. Yeah, like that Henry we were shooting today. That, that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, the I mopped the floor with you in my Ruger. I kind of <laughs> don't want you going home with that SIG X5 Legion we shot today. Yeah, that's Ooh. Good one. That is the it's new, my baby. Yeah, that's the new hotness. But guys, make sure again we have a 500 subscriber giveaway. If we haven't reached it already, I think mm -hmm. you know I'm I'm kind of piggybacking off your subscribers. So I I hope you get know, you a little bump. Hopefully, yeah, a nice little bump. You know, yeah, I'm just saying, John, if you want to think I'm a good uh, channel right here <clears throat> if you're not watching izzy i love you buddy <laughs> uh, that's a pure joke guys stay shooting everybody be safe peace